I'm here again with Brady Dugan, who's the Chief Executive Officer of Credit Suisse. And Brady, again, cannot thank you enough for taking the time. As a CEO of this company, you've got constant challenges. You've got constant hurdles facing you. Uh, you guys had the whole tax situation that happened, I guess, last year. You, you settled all that. What was that like, uh, attacking? I mean, that had to be a, a difficult task, but you guys have, have successfully gotten through it. Yeah, it's t I mean, obviously, these kinds of challenging issues come up. That was certainly a very challenging one for us. I think it was, um, it was, um, you know, it was challenging from a reputational point of view. Obviously, just getting the issue resolved was important. I mean, I think actually the the thing that I focus on and we focus on is really just making sure that we're trying to do the right thing at every step. So, in fact, in this case, particularly. You know, after I became CEO, we focused very hard on fixing that business. I mean, the business where the issues were, we actually proactively and pretty early on made the changes to the business that we thought were necessary to make sure that we were running a compliant and an admired business. As you say, you can get very tied up in these things personally. I mean, so you can think about the personal aspect of it, but it's really mostly about the institution and about and it's about our it's about our clients it's about our shareholders it's about our employees it's about making sure that we're doing the right thing and so i think that keeping that as the focus is i think what keeps you sort of centered on those issues as a ceo of a, a major bank do you think it's tougher to retain people because now people are looking at hedge funds or looking at private equity uh, they are looking at uh, technology startups and Financial services and investment banking is a great training ground. What are you doing to, to retain those folks? Well, look, I think there are, there are obviously a lot of interesting um, things people can do coming out, out of school. There's no question. And you, you've mentioned a number of them um, and a number of areas that are, as you say, sort of contiguous to our business that are you know, pretty interesting, pretty interesting stuff going on there. Um, and so I, I think those are all great, and actually I wouldn't, you know, I, I wouldn't discourage anybody from doing any of those. I do still think that the banking industry, and if you look at like a Credit Suisse, I think there are, I think the opportunity is tremendous. You know, it's an industry where I think that the breadth of what you can do is, it's, I mean, it's, it's hard to match. I mean, I sometimes wonder, you know, people coming into the business, I think they take a relatively short-term view of what they're going to do for the next couple of years. And, you know, your career is going to be long. You're going to do, you know, you're, you're going to be interested in doing, um, you know, things over the next 30, 40 years. And what's the best way to prepare for that? And how can you get a really, um, you know, great development, challenges, and interesting experience? And I think this industry still offers a lot of that. So, Brady, the industry has evolved quite a bit uh, over the last 20 years. I mean, you talked about it earlier in our conversation. Where do you see it evolving to going forward? I think technology is going to be a, a huge part of um, the future for this industry. And you know, it's um, and one of the things people ask sometimes is how come the technology companies haven't made more inroads already on uh, you know the traditional banking business? And you've got obviously some successful aspects of it. You know, some of the peer-to-peer -peer lending, some of the payment systems, etc. But I actually think that the most important thing that a bank has, I think we have uh, you know two or three things. I mean, but really. Our network with our clients is really important. So the, the, the client network that we have, um, and also our network internally of all the expertise we have, you know, those close to 50,000 people and all their expertise all around the world in many different markets and many different capabilities, and actually using technology to tie those together much more efficiently, I think is going to be a huge win for us as a bank and for the industry as a whole. I hope this isn't an off question, but what about um, Bitcoin and some of these new currencies that are coming out? How is that going to affect the banking business? You know, we're very uh, active in the technology industry as a banker and as an advisor to companies there. And I mean, if you, you, know, you spend much time in that industry, I mean, it is, it is revolutionizing industry after industry. And so anybody who thinks that they're somehow immune to that is, uh, I think, you know, is, is, is liable to end up with a, with a very nasty surprise. So from our point of view, we're looking at all those things, trying to think about how, um, you know, we can use that to benefit our customers and our model and really trying to, trying to incorporate it into our business. What's your philosophy on giving back? I know you've done a lot for the community. I think one of the things that I'm proudest about, about Credit Suisse, is, um, you know, every year we put out um, our basically our corporate governance or our sort of citizenship report separate from our annual report. And we actually publish in there all the things that this firm does, and particularly its people do, um, to give back to the communities that they're in. And it's a 
it's a very impressive list when you look at the number of hours, the number of people that we have who are involved in personally in giving their time, the number of initiatives that we actually focus on. It is, uh, it's something I'm very, very proud of, and it's something that I think is, um, is something our people are proud of as well. So, I mean, for instance, one of the things we, one of our focuses, we've got a, several different focuses. One, one has been on education. And so one of the things we said was we wanted to, to uh, actually develop over a, you know, two, three-year period, we wanted to create um, spaces in schools for um, the same number of kids in less developed countries as we have employees. So we wanted to make sure that over you know, a few year period we'd get 50,000 spots in schools, whether we're building a school, helping with the library, um, you know, actually um, you know, uh, uh, contributing to actually get kids into school, but just to basically you know, get the focus on that uh, for the whole institution. We do a lot of microfinance as well. We've been one of the leaders in microfinance in terms of actually taking companies public there and advising that industry. But we also do a lot in terms of contributing, uh, in terms of training there. And those are also things that are great to get our people actually um, involved in, on, a, on a very personal basis. So, I mean, I think it's something that, you know, frankly, I don't think the industry gets a lot of credit for that because I think people are still a bit cynical about the industry right now. But I have to tell you, I think our people love it. They, they love the experience that are given to them. They love the fact that they can have an impact on, their, on the communities that they're in and broader around the world. And um, I think it's, uh, it's one of the things, as I said, that I'm most proud about this organization is just the amount of effort, time, and resources that goes into actually giving back to the communities. It's just great. Last question. Uh, you're back at Booth and you're talking to the college kids graduating. Um, what sort of advice would you give? Well, I think the most important thing, and it's come up a lot in our discussion, is just um, take advantage of opportunities. I mean, try to be very uh, open to new opportunities. Try to find new opportunities. I mean, and, and it, again, it somewhat uh, emanates from my view that this industry is constantly recreating itself. So if you look at the people who've done you know, really well in the industry over time, a lot of them started off by getting into an area that was small, was just at its very beginnings, and really developed and grew it. So, um, you know, and you can go down the list and all, you know, whether it's in mortgages or M&A or, you know, you can go down the list. That's actually how people have done very well in the industry overall, and I think that continues to be key. So making sure that you're open to opportunities, that you're ready to take those on is something that I think is very important. And frankly, you know, one of the best things that anybody can do is to come to you and say, hey, we've got this business that's broken. It needs fixing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, would you do it? I mean, the answer to that should always be yes. You know, the answer to that should always be absolutely because it's developmentally it's going to be interesting, but also it allows you to uh, show that you can actually build businesses, fix businesses, build businesses. And I think that's something that's really, um, you know, is it's what creating value for your institution is all about. And that's also obviously what takes, uh, you know, what, what makes your career move as well. Again, I'm here with Brady Dugan, the Chief Executive Officer of Credit Suisse. And Brady, cannot thank you enough for taking the time. Really, really, really appreciate it. And I wish you continued success. Thank you very much. It's been my pleasure.